Uh, my name is Jason Wheeler, and I teach dual credit world history at Johnson Central High School. But this year, went into a bit of a new venture where me and an English teacher who are both dual credit certified, uh, we collaboratively taught a freshman level class that we titled American Seminar. And <clears throat> In this class, essentially what we're trying to do is figure out how to objectively measure a course that is so subjective. Uh, because anything in the humanities that our students are exposed to, in theory they're supposed to have a, you know, an opinion on it. Where do they fall and then where can they actually find the evidence? This was a bit of a venture for us because um, where we've been so used to teaching 11th and 12th grade um, AP and dual credit classes, um, we had to figure out a way to bring that same kind of rigor onto a freshman level class. And essentially what we came up with over the past two years was a class that had no uh, real formal assessment. There were no quizzes, there were no exams for the classes. Our main priority was to um, measure their growth and measure their um, success through digital portfolios. And all of the work that they create in their digital portfolio was stored on Google Classroom for the most part. Um, essentially, what our students are tasked with doing is creating their own questions and trying to answer them. Very high level stuff that we would expect 11th and 12th graders to do, but we took it all the way down to the freshman level. And the reason we decided to do this on the freshman level is um, at my high school, by the time we get students on the junior or senior level, sometimes they not may not be riding on the college level that they need to be going into uh, their first semester of college. So what we wanted to do is experiment with 26 students, see what we could do with them on their freshman year and see if we could somehow bring them up to um, a level beyond a sophomore level um, English or social studies class by next year. So to give you an idea of how this class is structured, our students um, are, are given tasks every week, uh, for the most part, a project. And each one of the projects is focused on a central question that they're gonna have to answer. And to give you an idea of some of the things that they've done um, throughout the entire year, the first one up here, uh, congressional bills and debates, you know, kind of married together. Essentially what our students did um, when uh, during our World War I unit was we presented all of our students the information on the United States declaration of war on Germany in 1917. We allowed them to break up into different congressional uh, districts. <clears throat> we gave them an opportunity to actually write a bill. As they were writing the bill, it was structured in a you know, congressional debate uh, forum where all of the students had an opportunity to um, ask non-technical or technical non-debatable questions. They had an opportunity to give pro-con debates and then at the very end of the project they had an opportunity to vote on it. All right. So instead of just going over a document, having them read points of view, we're having them actually create a congressional bill of their own. All right. Um, we also asked our students to join the Kentucky Youth Assembly and the Kentucky United Nations Assembly, CUNA and KYA. Uh, now, not every student had an opportunity uh, to do this, but to give you an example of um, how successful some of these students were, by the time we went to KYA in the fall, this is the first year we ever had the chapter at our high school, in session one we won most outstanding legislative bill with a handful of the students who were in this American seminar class. Now, we had some big swings and misses too. Um, I've put the C-SPAN student cam competition up here. Uh, I'm not a very um, <clears throat> not very good with making films and documentaries. Our students didn't quite make it on to the national level. They did get some, you know, recognition and some certificates for, uh, you know, job well done, but they didn't necessarily make it on to that next level. So with all the successful stuff that we had, we did have some big swings and misses at the same time. And <clears throat> 
This is just an example of some of the stuff that they've done. Uh, the bottom two pictures are the students, some of the students who are in um, that American seminar class who went on to KYA and in Kuna. Uh, we represented Pakistan, so we had to create a Pakistani global village. And in that village, uh, they basically just try to show what Pakistan's actually like. Right? The results. <clears throat> You know, the main question we were tasked with, again, how do you objectively measure such a subjective class? We only had 26 freshmen, and these 26 freshmen were the only kids in the entire building who took the plan ACT test. Uh, typically at our high school, we only give that to the sophomores. As you can see on here, our 10th grade plan scores in English and reading were a 21 and a 19. But the 26 students that we had in our American seminar class outpaced them on both. In reading, they were at a 20, or in reading, they were at a 25, and in English, they were at a 26. Okay, so. <clears throat> And this was with no um, ACT prep, no quizzes, no exams, because <clears throat> uh, you know the question that a lot of people typically have about end of year assessment is which multiple choice question is correct. I feel that the proper question should be not which multiple choice question is correct, but how do you change um, assessment to measure what students have done throughout the entire year. And at the very end of the year, our students are going to uh, basically turn their digital portfolios in online uh, on uh, our American Seminar page. And that's essentially going to be their end of the year grade. <clears throat> And to give you an idea of what we think our students are going to do in the future by having this class, we sincerely believe that by the, junior, uh, by the sophomore level, our students will be performing at the college dual credit level. And we believe that by their junior and senior years, where most of our students will take uh, dual credit or AP classes or um, anything on that higher level, we believe that they're going to be performing and functioning as uh, college freshmen and sophomores already in high school. So what we're going to essentially do over the next three years with this group is we're going to track their AP scores, we're going to track their ACT scores to see if we can continue to find uh, continued growth with this group. Okay, um, any questions? Yes. <clears throat> So essentially what we did is we just asked our freshman counselor when she went to the middle school to have a middle school teacher or a couple middle school teachers just find 26 students for us. There were no prerequisites for it. We uh, got some of the best of the best and we got some of the worst of the worst based on some of their explore scores in the middle school. And we just got kind of a hodgepodge of them together in there. Some of them are on the academic team um, and very involved in extracurriculars and others really don't do anything else after school for the most part. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. All right, well thank you for your time, I appreciate it.